Elizabeth Taylor? No, what? Who? By Elizabeth Taylor. I don't even know who Elizabeth Taylor is. This sounds familiar. Is it a famous person? I'm probably sounding so dumb right now. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with another unhaul video if you are new to my channel you don't know this but I usually unhaul books at least once a month so here we are again for another unhaul video so without further ado let us get started <sighs> this unhaul is featuring nine books which is actually a very small amount for me because usually I get rid of a lot during one time but I had a really good reading month last month and all of my books were 3.5 or higher so I didn't really add any this time around. There are only a couple that I'm getting rid of. So the first one that I have probably won't come to much of a surprise if you watched my mini contemporary thon vlog. You know how much I despise this book, but it is Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover. I hated this book so much, which is really weird because usually with Colleen Hoover's writing, I pretty much usually give them 3.5 or higher. This one I gave a one star. I could not stand it. It had so much slut shaming in it that it just made me angry and the two main characters, their actions in this book just pissed me off royally. So if you want to see more of my ranting, then go watch the Contemporary-a-thon mini vlog because I hate this book. Next one is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi and I was really disappointed with this one. I think I gave it a 2 or 2.5 out of 5 stars and I really wanted to like it which I didn't think I was going to like it because I heard so many people negatively review this. So I didn't really have high hopes, but I was still let down. Usually when I don't have high hopes, I'll usually give the book like three stars, but this one, not good. Next one, I was so sad about when I read because I loved the first book in this series, but it is A Fire by Kristen Kishore. The first book is Graceling, and that's one of my favorite books, and I thought that this was like a continuation on from that book, but really it's just in the same realm. That the first book was written in. Bitter Blue, the third book, is a continuation, so I still haven't read that, but I'm hoping that I really like that one. But I gave this a three out of five stars, I believe. It just was not what I wanted, and it was really slow and boring, and there was a lot of talk about this girl getting raped because of who she is, and it was just like, I didn't like it. It was just like a weird obsession with rape, and I just... Uh -uh. The next two books are part of the same series. They are Miss Mayhem and Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins. This is the second and third book in the Rebel Bell trilogy. I personally think that Rebel Bell could have been a single book. What is that called? A, a standalone. I think it could have been a standalone. Wow, words were not with me right there. But yeah, I don't think that these two other books were necessary for the story. I think that it could have just ended there and it would have been fine. I think I gave both of these a three out of five. Next two are another series. It is Truth Witch and Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. And I got this book like a long time ago and read it a long time ago. And then I just had this on my shelf and I didn't realize that it had been so long since I read this. This one and I looked up my review on Goodreads and it turns out like I didn't really like this book and I thought that I did since it was still on my shelf since I always get rid of books that are three stars or less but I think that I just kept it because I hated the look of Wind Witch by itself because <laughs> I knew that it was a sequel. So now that I finally read both of them I can get rid of both of them so oopsies. The next one is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein and it's by Kristen White. I hated this book. <laughs> I didn't hate it. It was just really boring. I think I gave it a 2.5 or 3. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've read it but it was just slow and boring and not what I wanted and I was really upset about it because I like the color of the book and I also think that the color of it like naked is really pretty. So. And then the final book is technically not mine, so I don't really know if I should get rid of it or not, but I don't want it sitting in my room anymore. But it is Steven Erickson's Gardens of the Moon, and I borrowed this from some dude that I was seeing because he wanted me to read it because it's his favorite book, and then the whole COVID-19 quarantine thing happened and we stopped talking because he got another girlfriend. So, yeah, I don't know if I want it in my room but I feel bad because we're still in quarantine at the time I'm filming this. It's June 
13th. So technically I could wait until I can give it back to him, but also he's saying another girl, so I feel like it's weird to like hold on to this book. But he also has my mom's pan that I made him apple crisp in, so it's like I have to see him, so should I hold on to it? I don't know. It's a dilemma, but I think that I'm just gonna get rid of it and pretend that it never happened and buy my mom a new pan. Alright everybody, so that was my unhaul video for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!